hard never helped anyone in this game. All your money now. Don't make me ask twice. Whoa! What are you trying Just to prove? Calm down and You're take it wrong. easy. Looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> Sure looks like another pile of shit crumbs, don't it? Let's give it some of the magic touch. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. <sighs> Something. Mm. Anything. I'll take a cigarette butt at this point. Being nice to you, so be nice to me. Wait a damn second. Look at this. Oh, who's got gold? Who's got gold? Woo hee, I got some gold. <laughs> Look at this, baby. <laughs> Wait well, a look at that. this. You found me some gold. Why don't you hand it right over? Get away from me! Ah! Oh!
How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? <sighs> Who knows? Hey. Just... Mm. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish best? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? The place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, he got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to trial him publicly. Uh, gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Scaldings, boys, are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... we need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean and we'll get ourselves lost. Good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Come on, girl. Follow me. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes! South of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. Down there! Reckon those... ...might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. <laughs> Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, we should keep it down. Indeed. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet. To transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Let's go! Come on! They've pulled into shore. 
Get your binoculars out. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys, but I hear they're a big crew and wild. Built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty. Okay. Wait. Willing them in. Gentlemen, excuse me, dear brothers. My wife. Stay out of sight. Ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You she take the one on the left. Where is she? Okay, come on. Stay low. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, Mister. I, I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. God damn it, Arthur. Oh. Ah. Let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with.
him. What's up this way? Come on. I'll take the left side, Charles. Sean, and get out of here. Are you going to get me down from here? Hurry up, fellas. Arthur. <laughs> you know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <coughs> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <coughs> I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. Yep. Come on.
folks aren't so welcoming. You mind taking it off? Phew. Okay, much better. Nothing like a nice bath at the end of a journey, huh? Got some good ones. Morning, mister. Yep. Hello, sir. I've, uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang. Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. You got any dynamite? Do this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Come on, you gotta try something. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. Should have known you were up so good. Trust you? 
You have finally lost your damn mind. You goddamn maniac. I should have left you to hang. We're in it now, Morgan. What do you want to do? Send them all out. Come on. Get everything you got. something of mine. My guns. I showed him. And I'll show the rest of this town. You have really lost it. In the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Some unknown reason. Whoa! I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you, to liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. 
Why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. Sometimes brothers make mistakes. Now I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah!